Let's talk about Caravel, Florida. It is a small town on the forgotten coast of Florida. Nestled in Florida's panhandle, this small town is a fun place to stop while visiting the forgotten coast. It captures the essence of old Florida spirit, offering an experience untouched by commercialism. The downtown is relatively small, but full of charm. Enjoy it on foot because you'll miss some of the highlights if you drive through it. Even though it's a small town, there are a few charming dining options and accommodations. So where is Carabelle, Florida located? It's located along Florida's picturesque Panhandle region along the Forgotten Coast. And how do you get here? The closest major airport is Tallahassee Regional Airport, TLH, which is about 54 miles from Carabelle. There is a smaller airport in Apalachicola, the Apalachicola Regional Airport. Each of these airports has its own rules, so visit the websites for each when booking your trip. Upon arriving in Carabelle, you'll see it exudes old Florida charm. It's a unique fishing village on the St. George Sound. One of the highlights of Carabelle are its beautiful beaches. They provide a perfect setting for swimming, sunbathing, or just walking along the shore. They also have a great public beach with a newly renovated pavilion. Here you will find plenty of tables with shade, public restrooms, and foot wash stations. There is also a large parking lot with quick access to the beach. If you're enjoying this video, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel so we can help you find your next beach vacation. Now, if you prefer to be on the water instead of next to it, Carabelle offers an abundance of fishing opportunities. There is something for all anglers, whether you're into deep sea fishing or prefer shore fishing. From red snapper to flounder, you'll find a variety of species to make your fishing dreams come true. After a day of fishing and playing on the beach, head over to the Crooked River Lighthouse. This historic landmark, towering over the Gulf Coast, offers visitors amazing Gulf views. You can climb the lighthouse for a small fee and take in beautiful views of Carabelle Beach. There is also a museum where you can get an up-close look at tools used by lighthouse keepers over the years. Admission to the museum is free. The lighthouse also hosts events, and my favorite are the full moon events at the Crooked River Lighthouse. Every month during the full moon, visitors have the opportunity to witness the beauty of the coastline under the glow of a rising full moon. There is usually live music as well. If you enjoy history, continue your tour of Carabelle by visiting the Carabelle History Museum. This museum provides an immersive experience of this charming coastal town's rich history and culture. From ancient native people's exhibit to photographs of essential residents of Carabelle, these exhibits showcase Carabelle's heritage through personal memorabilia and local artifacts. Another way to get to know Carabelle like a local is to visit the Country Farmer's Market. It takes place at the Crooked River Lighthouse. This open air market offers an array of farm fresh goods and unique products. It takes place on the first, third, and fifth Saturday of each month from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We had a great time at this pet friendly event and purchased some of the best boiled peanuts we've ever eaten. After sampling some local treats, head downtown to one of Carabelle's most unique attractions, the world's smallest police station. This unique piece of local history holds a fascinating story behind it. In 1947, the police chief was the only officer on duty during the day, so he had a lot of responsibilities, including pumping water for the tugboats at the dock. Since he was so busy, the phone company installed a police call box on the side of one of the buildings downtown. This way, officers could answer calls while walking the beat. However, citizens began making unauthorized long-distance calls on this police phone. 
To fix the issue, they moved the call box into a phone booth to its current site on US 98. This became the official world's smallest police station. Unfortunately, people continued to sneak into the booth and make unauthorized long distance calls. Eventually, the dial was removed from the phone so no one could call out. Problem solved. A, it remains a popular tourist spot and ranks as one of the area's top attractions. Another must-see stop while in Carabel is the Bottle House. It is located just outside the downtown area. It is a collection of outdoor art pieces made entirely from glass bottles. The Bottle House is open continuously for visitors and the artist is always adding to his designs. Tate's Hell State Forest is another great place to visit near Carabelle. This expansive forest spans over 200,000 acres and offers a wealth of natural beauty to explore. It provides a critical habitat for rare plants and animals. Tate's Hell State Forest is easily accessible from Carabelle. Whether you're an avid camper or simply looking to immerse yourself in nature for a day, this forest offers 67 designated campsites. There are also numerous hiking trails that wind through the National Forest. If you prefer something less rugged, you can also explore downtown Carabelle. Shopping enthusiasts can indulge in local boutiques that offer unique souvenirs to take home as mementos of their trip. There are several unique shops lining the main street of Carabelle. So where can you stay while visiting Carabelle? Check out the Old Carabell Hotel and the Franklin Inn. Both offer cozy accommodations and affordable prices. The Old Carabell Hotel is charming. It's an historic hotel built around 1900. It has retained its character and offers five themed rooms, each with a private bath. I love the cozy atmosphere and the hotel is conveniently located near the Carabell History Museum. Plus, the amenities are great. They have a lobby bar, a lush courtyard, and a gas grill for guests to use. Whether you're a history buff or just looking for a unique place to stay in Carabelle, the old Carabelle Hotel is worth considering. The Franklin Inn Motel offers clean, cozy rooms. They provide free Wi-Fi and free parking for guests. One thing that stood out to me is how pet-friendly the Franklin Inn is. Bringing your furry friend along on vacation is always a plus. The motel's prime location near Carabelle Beach and Dog Island makes it ideal for beachgoers who want easy access to the beautiful beaches. There are several places to eat in Carabelle, especially if you love fresh seafood. One top-rated restaurant is the Fisherman's Wife Restaurant. It's known for its mouth-watering seafood dishes and warm hospitality. If you're up for trying something different, A Taste of Korea provides a unique culinary adventure with authentic Korean cuisine. And check out Carabelle Junction, a charming spot where visitors can enjoy hearty meals and a cozy atmosphere. Food lovers will indeed find a favorite dining spot that satisfies their hunger and desire for local flavors. Between the beaches, wildlife, and seafood, Carabelle is worth your time. So if you find yourself touring the forgotten coast of Florida, spend some time in Carabelle. While Carabelle may be a hidden town on the forgotten coast, it's unforgettable once you've been there. Let us know if you have heard of the forgotten coast in the comments. We'd love to know your favorite spot. Thank you so much for watching, and until our next adventure, take care.